Hello guys, good morning Philippines, this is Mike and we are back to our latest update on active LPA 92W for this Saturday morning, December 10, 2022 and this is brought to you by Typhoon Dorasan in partnership with Aboitis Power and our college foundation. Let's begin with our update. We have some good news because the low pressure area has accelerated and is now over the northern coastline or just to the eastern, uh, just along the eastern coastline of uh, Catanduanes, very close and it's starting to move towards the north and here's the latest uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page and you can clearly see here some elongated uh, circulation of the system but starting to uh, consolidate near its center and we can observe here the trough extending all the way across the West Philippine Sea and South China Sea and to the northeast across the eastern portions of the uh, North Philippine Sea and uh, Metro Manila, Central Zone, uh, Calabar Zone, Mimaropa is also affected by the cloudiness of this uh, broad low pressure area which continues to struggle as it moves towards the north and uh, it looks like the Bicol region is lucky enough that the heavy rainfall that was forecasted yesterday by the European model has been updated this morning and it's only around less than 100 millimeters will be experienced in some provinces of the region like in Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, Albay, Sosigon, uh, 24 hour rain has dropped to uh, just a maximum of 70 okay so from 20 to 70 uh, millimeters is just like an ordinary thunderstorms bringing some rains over that area and uh, the only uh, heavy rainfall on the forecast is Kananduanes which may reach a high of 90 millimeters and over uh, the uh, Kakamoan uh, area along Partido District uh, forecast is uh, around 70 millimeters of uh, rainfall so that's good news and if it continues to move towards the north improving weather conditions will be expected across the Bicol region uh, especially tomorrow Sunday the system is still uh, organizing and here's the zoom in subtle animation from windy.com you can clearly see here the uh, center is somewhere either here or here and there are some cloudiness or rain clouds associated with this uh, elongated circulation of LPA 92W moving now across uh, Camarines provinces so we are experiencing some light rainfall of 0.3 millimeters so we expect that uh, throughout the afternoon or evening the same uh, light rain but there are some chances of uh, heavy rainfall but not much okay so that's the uh, new information from the uh, European model and uh, still when we have uh, strong thunderstorms that could uh, form uh, this afternoon or evening possible flooding will uh, also be expected the threat of flooding remains across uh, various sections of the uh, Bicol region particularly in the Rinconada area of Camarillo Sur so take note of that but we expect that uh, this uh, system will continue to drift towards the north now uh, if we take a look at the latest uh, tracking from various Asian agencies only uh, Japan and uh, maybe later Pagasa if they upgraded it into a tropical depression it will be named as Rosal but right now Japan Meteorological Agency already upgraded it into a tropical depression and it's just uh, roughly 100 kilometers to the east of uh, Karamoran uh, Katanduanes and uh, it has sustained winds of 55 kvh and is expected to move towards the north and uh, the possibility of becoming a tropical storm somewhere here over the central philippine sea remains but uh, after three days it will weaken into a tropical depression eventually into a remnant low because of an approaching shoreline and the surge of cold dry air from the uh, northeast monsoon as we check now on the rainfall accumulation forecast there has been change, some changes on the rainfall for the next three days okay a decreasing uh, rainfall amount will be expected over the Bicol region the uh, bulk of the heaviest to intense uh, heavy to intense rainfall are located over the uh, Philippine Sea so it, it's no longer a threat over the Bicol region but still 20 to 50 millimeters will be expected if we take a look at the 24-hour rain 
the western provinces of Camarines Sur may uh, experience a rainfall of 10 to uh, 30 millimeters, while over Naga City and other parts of the uh, Bicol region, there might be a rainfall of uh, 20 up to 70 millimeters, but let's hope it's below uh, 70. While uh, other areas like uh, Kahamuan and Catanduanes might be experiencing rainfall of up to 80 or 90 millimeters. But it is uh, quite a uh, uh, relief compared to uh, past few days that rainfall is above 100 millimeters. And if we take a look at the uh, uh, 24 hour rainfall from the uh, Meteorologics uh, website, okay, meteorologics.com. So it confirms that the rainfall will only be concentrated, the heaviest of the rainfall over Catanduanes and the coastal waters of uh, Camarines provinces. But so far, uh, it will be a uh, rainfall just like an, an ordinary thunderstorms of about uh, 30 to 60 or 70 millimeters in the afternoon through the evening. So the threat of flooding is still there, but uh, it's diminishing during the past uh, 12 hours and uh, if we take a look now on the pressure and wind forecast for the next uh, three days by this afternoon LPA is starting to move towards the north tomorrow afternoon it will uh, intensify into tropical storm based on the American model Monday afternoon it will accelerate towards the northeast and weaken into a tropical depression due to uh, its interaction with the shear line or tail end of a cold front and the approaching dry and cool northeast monsoon and uh, uh, if we take a look on the uh, european model by uh, tomorrow more afternoon it will accelerate more to the north as a tropical depression or low pressure area monday afternoon it will weaken or become a remnant low absorbed into the shear line and the approaching surge of the northeast monsoon so that's quite good news for us and uh, beginning today onwards that LPA if it does become a uh, tropical depression it's no longer a threat to any parts of the country and we will return uh, maybe this evening to give you more updates on this LPA and if ever it develops into a tropical depression we will continue to give you information on that. Again this is Mike Potter reporting stay safe always be hashtag weatherwiser. Thank you so much for watching our channel.